Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today we are going to solve a logarithmic equation. So here I go. Find the missing value in y equal to logarithm of 16 to the base 64. So, ooh, to take care of that. So, y is equal to logarithm of 16 to the base 64. By the definition of logarithm, of logarithm, we get 64, which is the base, exponented by y is equal to 16. That's the definition of logarithm, the base raised to the power of exponent of the term on the left hand side of the equation is equal to the number 16. Now we have to solve this equation. So the best thing is to express uh, 64 as a factor of 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. So this is 64 is equal to 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, exponent 6. Similarly, similarly, we can uh, express 16 as 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. Thus, 16 is 2 exponent 4. So, point to note, I expressed both 64 and 16 in the exponential form, exponent of 2, as an exponent of 2. So, 64 is 2 exponent 6. Outside the parentheses, we have another exercise. Uh, y is equal to so exponent is what the hell is going on? It was from the definition, by the definition of logarithm 64 exponent y. And 64 is expressed as 2 to the power of 6. And this is further exponented by y is equal to 2 to the power of 4 on the right hand side of the equation. Now, we use the rule of exponents. Uh, the exponents get multiplied. 6 multiplied by y is 6y is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, since the bases are the same, since the bases are 2 on both sides, 2 on both sides, the exponents must be equal. Exponents on both sides should be equal. Sides should be equal. What does it mean? It means 6y is equal to 4. Now, if I create some space for myself, so We'll divide 6 times y is 4. So in order to remove 6, separate the 6 from y, we will divide by 6. 
on both sides. We're doing the operation. We are doing the operation of division because 6 multiplied by y. So the opposite of that multiplication is division. So 6y divided by 6 is 4 divided by 6. Thus y is equal to 4 over 6. And we know 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6. If we remove the 2 from the numerator and denominator, then y is equal to 2 out of 3. Or 2 divided by 3. This is our final answer. 2 divided by 3. y equal to... So the missing value of y... Value of y is equal to 2 over 3. So let me just go quickly over the steps. So we are going to use the definition of logarithm first. So the equation we were given is y is equal to log to the, so this is I have to take care of, this is 64. So logarithm of 16 to the base 64. Y is equal to logarithm of 16 to the base 64. We use the definition of the logarithm. If you remember, the base gets raised to the power on the left-hand side, the term on the left-hand side of the equation. So base is 64, 64 exponent Y is 16. Now 64 we will express in, as a <clears throat> multiple of two. 2 multiplied by itself 6 times is 64, as I showed. So 2 to the power of 6 out in the parenthesis outside the exponent y, and 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Hence, 2 to the power of 6, y, because the 6 and the y, they get multiplied because they're an exponent. So 2 to the power of 6, y is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Since both sides have the same base 2. Therefore, the exponents are equal. And that means 6y is equal to 4. And we divide by 6 then on both sides because 6 multiplied by y is 6y. So to remove the 6, you do the op opposite, which is division, 6y divided by 6. What you do on the left side, you do on the right side also. It is 4 divided by 6. So y equal to 4 over 6. Now 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2 and 6 can be expressed as 2 times 3. You take out the 2 common factor of 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. So you're left with y equal to 2 third. Hence, the missing value in the equation, given equation, is y equal to 2 third. I stop here today. If you have any question or comments, you can write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please share with your friends, you and your friends. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Please do not forget to watch me next time and I'll come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Please subscribe to my channel because I've solved all kinds of math problems just for you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. See you next time. Take care. Have a nice day.